Are you coming up here to help me? Here to keep you company. <laughs> oh. What happened to a day off? Wow, I'm already out of shape. Went up the ladder, I'm out of, out of breath. <laughs> I don't know that you're out of shape. <laughs> tired. I think tired is a probably a more accurate statement. Yeah. It's kind I'm of excited. fun watching the snow fall off all the trees. Oh yeah, that's some pretty good drone footage. It's also oddly fascinating to watch our entire timber frame dripping. Yep. <laughs> well, this is incredible. Yeah. I have to say, after having ice all over your warm board. Suddenly, wet warm board isn't nearly as bad. Right? Hey y'all, Alyssa's up here. Jesse's gonna get better footage now. Hopefully, this is the last time that I have to sweep snow out of the bathroom. <laughs> snow is just glistening. Let's get together. The snow's so wet. He's gonna push us off the thing. How are you liking your new jacket that you found in the depths of storage? Oh yeah, I forgot about it. Well, it showed up in like August, so at the time I was not keen on hotness. I so far love it. Good. We're just kind of your color. I really haven't taken it off other than to put other jackets on. So good. It's a little warm though. Eh? That's odd. Good. <laughs> yeah, my Carhartt's pretty good, but this one's a little more toasty. What I like about it, maybe this is why it's more warm, is it's really tight around the neck. Ah, uh, yep. Can't let the my, heat escape. My Carhartt's more, like, loose. But I, I presume... There goes a snowplow. Snowplow! I want to say on camera thank you to Brian and Kimberly. One of them, I think it was Kimberly, it could have been Brian, knitted these hats for us. I guess Jesse took his off, but I love mine so much that I'm probably gonna sleep in it. <laughs> Apparently, oh, what were you gonna say, Jesse? I've been wearing mine for like two days. They're matching. Yeah. Mine has cute little garnishments on the uh, side, and yeah. I asked Jesse which hat he wanted, it's and he let me cute. have the cute one. Cute. Apparently, this is like the same yarn. Uh -huh. It's not a different yarn, it just changes colors. But mine has three colors, and yours has two colors. No, mine has three. I like this because I don't have to wear anyone else's logo on it. Yeah. If it had a big patch that said Kimberly, I might still wear it, but... <laughs> yeah. Gold. Yeah. Yeah. They're actually really comfy. I love I them. Mine they, like, yesterday. cup my head perfectly. They do. They fit. Is that they're... an appropriate term? Yeah, but they're not too tight either, so they're like, yeah. I kind of forget I have mine on, honestly. And I did sleep in it. It period. covers the hat hair. That's one reason I yeah. like winter and summer, for that matter. If you wear a hat, you don't have to do your hair. See, my hair is getting so long that doing it is really hard. Jesse. Yeah. Are you almost done? We have to go into town. There's a, a window, a local window company. We're really hoping to work with them on windowing this entire structure. Um, and we think we want to pre-cut the window openings before we order a sip, so. We have to. Yeah, and then they uh, are a distributor for some big name garage door companies as well. So we're, we're gonna hope they can maybe guide us a little bit. Yeah, um, I try don't. And Go ahead. I don't expect much today. You can't just walk into a business and be like, I want to order, order a whole oh, house no. of windows. Oh no, but you can only get so far on a website. Yeah. You have no idea for cost. And then from my observation, there's like the top super duper yeah, extreme tier window and then like still a good window, like what the difference in those are. So mm -hmm. I don't know, it's kind of nice. So much stuff we don't buy locally, but it's nice to buy local what we can or, or through a local distributor. Yeah, we tried to shop online for a lot of this stuff just because we were worried that we wouldn't be able to find it locally, but we want to try to keep our business local if we can, so we'll start there and see what happens. We have about a billion things to do in town. Yep. Um, we've just been kind of slowly moving that way. I already shared how it was just like a billion little tasks. I feel like I'm just going over here, I see that, pick this up, move that over yeah. here, fix this. Like we had a lot of stuff break during the last month that's not fixed. Well, it's fixed now. so. Yeah, gotta get this cleaned off so it doesn't all flood the garage and all the tools and stuff that we have down there. It's still gonna, still a lot of water, but hopefully it'll 
not do too much damage. Then we have to spend money, return money, ship things, return things, accept things, mail Let's things. Let's say like a week ago we had a bunch of money dumped into our account and a week later it's gonna be gone. Bye bye. Bye money. Nice knowing you. But what good is money if it just sits in your account when you have a house to build? You can't eat it. I mean, you can't keep warm with it, so you might as well do something else. You can probably wipe your butt with it, but I mean. I prefer toilet paper. It's a little softer and not nearly as many people have touched it. Man says we're done. We can finally go to town. Yay, more coffee. I'll follow you. Okay. Can you take the tripod? Yeah. Okay. Be nice when we have a real set of stairs, huh? Yeah. Got it? Got it. Is it camera? It's rolling. Okay. Got it. Got it. So yeah, it's starting to rain in here. So we just need to keep an eye on tools and... I'm kind of worried that some of these lights that we installed might be in the path of water. We'll find out. They sure. were cheap or low cost. They were fairly cheap. <laughs> well, we didn't take all that to close up the old canisters to town, huh? Um, I wasn't going to do that today. Okay. Just okay. because of the priority. Yeah. I put them there because I wanted them to thaw out. They were just completely encased in ice. <sighs> yep, it's raining in here. <laughs> so, so far, it's, it, look, well, it looks like most of our tools are being dodged by the raindrops. Hey, we had a bunch of people leave their snacks. I don't know who you are, but your sea salt crunchy chickpeas are here. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. I might try those. And someone left their peanuts. Oh yeah. I think this was on the shelter table. Oh. I don't I've, know who it was. For some reason I think that was shelter too. Really? But, yeah. Man, that's yeah. hungry. Yum. <laughs> Alright, let's do our town to-do list, which I have a feeling is gonna feel oddly chaotic. Hmm. There's a lot of water left over <clears throat> from our potluck. And we don't yeah. drink water. Look at all that water. We drink coffee, so Some water, more we water. We just sound the beacon to get our friends here to drink all this water, because Yeah. We have red water. Yellow water. This water doesn't look half bad. Belgian water. It's never good when your floor is dripping. It's just water coming from the sky. Hey, this, my shiner holes are dripping. Do you see that? Is that what's causing that? I think that's a shiner. <laughs> well, you know, it could just be where a screw is It's really is funny. Too. Drip, drip. I think I did have a shiner drip. there. Not good. That's why it's a floor and not a roof. He came out. There's certainly plenty of dirt up there for him to enjoy. Hey, look, our solar panels, the snow fell off. I Yay. I think we might be getting a tiny bit of solar today. Maybe. Wow. Spotted something from across the way. That's a backhoe sickle. Uh-oh. <laughs> I love that this one over here has followed the contour of the light. Something tells me that running this backhoe in the winter is going to be a might bit chilly. It's kind of hard to believe that one week ago we were pulling the last rafter off this sawmill and now it's got a foot of snow on it. Pretty sure there's some lumber underneath there which is what's holding all that snow up. It's hard to believe that three weeks of my life have been spent over here and now it's all covered in snow goes the snowplow. Hopefully we can get a bit of a melt or a thaw and then maybe get this sawmill more protected for winter. We are definitely not ready for winter. These are some of our scarf men. These are the other half of the scarf joints that are in the building. They're different sizes because the beams were different sizes from which they were cut. And then also, of course, some beams were longer than others. We're hoping to make something really fun and complimentary for the house out of these guys. And of course, we had the Jesse Scarf Man. 
<laughs> he had my orange shirt and my sun hat on him. And so people were having fun making cartoony faces out of these. <laughs> oh, this is a businessman. A business scarfman. Oh, he's winking. He's a winky face. It's pretty fun. You look cozy. Someone wants winter to come. I do. I'm conflicted. <laughs> I, uh, it's my first long jacket. Yeah. I've been cold every winter, no matter how many jackets I wear, so I was wondering if I have something that's basically to my knees, if I'll be warmer. You look really toasty. People buy this to go to, like, Iceland. Don't let Bugaboo see this part. Do you like it or do you think it'll scare <laughs> it'll him? Make him cry. <laughs> <laughs> How do you explain to your cat that that's How do you not real this fur? To your cat? It's not real fur, Bugaboo. <laughs> it's okay. But I also, part of me sees him cuddling up in this jacket. Oh yeah, he totally would. And falling asleep. Yep. <laughs> to town. To town.